Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where you will learn about how you can format a drive which has a UI file system onto it. So let's get started. So I have plugged in my drive which has a EFI system inside of it. So here you can see in the this PC of my Windows 10 Windows Explorer, I cannot see my drive which I just inserted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the disk management. And over here you can see we have this disk one and there are three partitions inside of it which are two of them are primary partitions and one of them is the EFI system and you can also see the delete volume options are also available for these two drives but for the EFI system partition all the options are grayed out and even on the disk option you are unable to find any option that can format this drive and combine all of these partitions all together so that you can use it as an external drive or something else so for this what we are going to do is we are going to go we are going to open the command prompt as administrator and over here we are going to use the command disk part hit enter and now you are into the disk partition console so over here what we are going to do is we are going to type the command list disk this is going to list all the disks for you so beware that you need to always select the correct disk otherwise you are going to format your own operating system as well so beware at this point now i am going to select disk 1 as my disk 1 is the disk which i need to format and which contains the efi file system as well so i will select disk 1 and now the disk 1 is selected so whatever the commands i am going to perform are going to be performed on disk 1 only so I'm going to now list all of the partitions that are available in disk 1 and we already know there are three partitions as you can see in the disk management as well disk 1, disk 2 and disk 3 and it also shows you the partition sizes as well. Now I'm going to format each one of them one by one. So let's get started. So let's see how you do it. So first you select the partition. So I'm going to select partition 1, hit enter and after you select the partition 1 now you are going to write the command delete partition override so it is going to delete the partition and override it hit enter and now you notice that the disk one partition one is now deleted which was not being able to be deleted with the right click option now i'm going to perform the same operation for partition two and partition three so you can see that after selecting partition two it is deleted and combined and the same I'm going to do after selecting partition 3. And now you can see that your partition is completely deleted. Now we can create a new simple volume for it and, and by going through the wizard for the volume creation, I will just give it as letter E, go to next, file system will be NTFS, if you want, if you do not want to format your disk you can go without formatting it but i will proceed with formatting and here are all the options that you see just click on finish and now you can see that your new volume is available as disk letter e and now you can use it as a normal usb drive thank you so much for watching i hope this has been a beneficial video for you please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so that you can get more informative videos like this